welcome to our channel tech l table so today's topic will be lt architecture so this is one of the basic and the start topic so based on the request of uh, many freshers we come up with this uh, video that is lt architecture so let's start with the lt architecture video so here you can see the complete uh, lt architecture and its network elements so we can see like uh, it's divided into two parts that is eutron and the epc part so eutron will be considered uh, consisting of uh, this e node b portion and the epc will be consisting of this mme hss hgw at pgw pcrf so this is the complete core part so now uh, let's talk about the interfaces so the interface between the ue and the e node b it is uu and the inter interface between the two e node b that will be the x2 and the protocol that has been used in between this x 2 a protocol the interface between the two MMEs that is S10 the interface between a E node B and a MME this will be S1 MME that is uh, named uh, the protocol that has been used in between this is S1 AP protocol and now the interface between E node B and SJW that will be S1U, the protocol that is uh, that has been used is GTPU, and the interface between MME to SJW that is S11, the protocol used in between is GTPC, and the interface between uh, MME and HSS that way that is named as S6A, the protocol used in between is diameter protocol. The signaling gateway and PGW is connected with S5 and S8 interface. So why there is S5 and S8? So S S5 is for home network and S8 is for like visitor. So for rooming, uh, that S S8 will be the functionality will be the same for the both S5 and S8. So and the protocol that has been used is GTPU and GTPC. And then the PGW is connected with the PCRF, OFC, and OCS. So, with the PCRF, it is connected with the GX interface. With the OFC, it is connected with the GZ, OCS, is GY. And after that, this PCRF is connected to SPR with the SP interface. And the protocol that has been used is diameter for SPR and PCRF and OCS. And finally, the PDW is connected with the PDN uh, network, PDN gateway through the IP or SGI interface. So this is basically the interface between uh, all these components. So now let's talk about the functionalities of each node. So let's start the functionalities with the E node B. So when we talk about the E node B, so functionalities of the E node B will be like. Uh, radio resource management and uh, the routing of the user uh, plane packets toward the signaling gateway and you can say the MME selection and uh, the scheduling of the you can say message scheduling and the transmission so if you we'll talk about the you can say uh, detail of the like what does this uh, radio resource management will do so the radio resource management uh, basically it handles the radio bearer control so radio bearer control is basically this is responsible for the you can say the maintenance and in the setup and the release of the bearers that radio bearers and uh, based on the services so and the mobility management so mobility management is also handled by this e node b so it handles the radio resource management for the uv in both the modes that will be in idle mode and, and the connected mode and uh, the admission controls the admission control you already know this is a feature in lt a network uh, through which you can say the radio bearer radio resource uses is optimized based on the qs of the uh, uh, user existing user and uh, in this basically in simple word it allows or denies the radio bearer setup request so and uh, now the 
other uh, work is like uh, dynamic resource allocation so dynamic resource allocation is basically uh, you can say the number of rb allocated to each user is handled with this and uh, it will provide the you can say the minimum rate per user uh, you can say uh, allocation so these are basically done by you can say the dynamic uh, allocation resource allocation and uh, when you come to this MME selection then yes uh, you can say like enabling the UV which UV to be sorted by the which MME uh, during the attach procedure or while uh, uh, enabling the UV uh, that is sorted by the different MME when uh, when there it will be in the different network and uh, you can say uh, it establishes the you can say the route towards an MME based on the information provided by the UV so routing information when, when there will be the no routing information then uh, this MME selection uh, through the inode B is done which is helping uh, in this uh, you can say uh, uh, you can say the UV for providing the information and uh, so these are basically the functions of uh, inode b and when you talk about the function of uh, mme so mme functionalities it's a, uh, there are a lot of functionality which main function involved in the mme are like authentication mobility management and uh, you can say location update bearer establishment handover uh, it used to give the support for the handover also so when you talk about the authentication part, so like extending all the inf authentication information based between the UE and the HSS that is being handled by the MME and uh, you can say uh, it allows the you can say so subscriber or connected user uh, with the internal mobility across the complete network. So all the management is done by this MME, the location area update like keep keep on uh, updating where the exact where the subscriber is so in the complete network for the consider and the current state so this is being done by the mme only and the bearer establishment is like to means uh, based on the you can say a gateway uh, the establishment of bearer is uh, means done by this mme you can say handover between the two inode B's so like especially for the S1 interface it is being handled by the MME part so these are the some functions of the uh, you can say uh, MME so and the paging processor also being handled and you can say the signaling gateway selection for the UV when it is attaching uh, doing the initial attach so these all things are done by the MME only so when you come to the HSS parts already I have, we have discussed like uh, in HSS basically it is like a storage or a database kind of thing so like subscriber identity and and all the details are basically uh, we find in this HSS only and all the authentication center it is our central authentication uh, functionalities it it contains so now let's move to this uh, signaling gateway so if when you talk about signaling gateway so the main function of the signaling gateway is the routing and uh, the forwarding of the user data packet so this is the main function of uh, signaling gateway and for the like inter inode b handover in the user plane and uh, it provides mobility between uh, the lt and the other legacy networks like uh, 2g and 3g so this is uh, where uh, this is uh, useful there, there basically signaling gateway comes in picture and when we talk about the PGW so like the main function of PGW is the IP allocation UIP allocation and after that like IP routing and forwarding is also done by PGW and uh, so these are the main two functions of the PGW and when you talk about the PCRF so that that is basically the policy and uh, charging rule function so this is basically uh, you can say uh, as a combination of like CR, CRF and uh, PDF. So CRF is the charging rule function and PDF is the policy decision function. 
so uh, and it ensures the service policy and sends the quality of service information to each session begin and accounting role information so basically this is all tackle about the billing and charging of that particular user and for that particular data and pack how much uh, which quality of service uh, that subscriber uh, basically opted and uh, so this this, this functions uh, means all the uh, functions related to the services for the quality of service and you can say uh, which service is provided how much data left all this information is basically is tackle, taken care by this PCRF so there are the two components like OCS and OFC. So OCS is basically is the online charging function. And, and this is the real time credit control uh, or the charging function that is based on you can say a few you know, few key points like uh, volume, time and events. So this is basically the OCS and OFC is the o o OFCS is the offline charging function. So this is basically the CDR based charging function. So CDR basically you can say the charging data record. So from there exactly uh, it used to uh, build, you can say do the charging and all. So and there's one more component uh, with the uh, interface, diameter interface that is SPR. So SPR is the subscription profile repository. So this is you can say it's kind of you can say a subset of HSS only so uh, it provides uh, you can say the information such as the subs uh, the services or you can say subscription allowed to the user and you can say uh, the permitted quality of service and the charging related information all this information is given by this spr so and uh, we have seen like the protocols that is being used like x2 ap s1 ap gtp diameter protocols so these are being used as so in next video we will going to discuss much more detail about this diameter protocol and uh, you can say uh, gtp so gtp basically is the gpr standing protocol so and uh, this is uh, this is like you can say uh, ip based communication protocol so that is being used to carry uh, the general protocol uh, you can say uh, related with the GSM, UMTS or LT. So and uh, for this G GTP at the end point, every end point the TID used to generate that is the tunnel endpoint identifier. So you can see like uh, here also the GTP protocol being used, here also GTP, GTP is being used. So we will let you know how exactly this protocols are being mapped and uh, the functionalities. So and one more thing that I need to tell like uh, when we tell that where exactly the user plane. So user plane basically will be following this path that is from e-node bv signaling gateway and uh, you can say pgw and we talk about the control plane so it will be from like this to mme and to this and mme to sgw there also the control plane being used and here also signaling and uh, pgw also we have the control plane part so this is basically you can say uh, the complete uh, architecture of LT so for uh, you can say further information you can ping or you can message us so thanks for today and uh, we will come with the next topic uh, we are going to come with the next topic that is the authentication so keep on uh, I can say uh, keep eye on us and we will be soon coming with the new topic that is authentication so thanks for today you can uh, reach to us uh, with the, this medium you can see you can go to our website you can mail us you can go to our youtube channel we have a linkedin page we have a facebook page so please do visit and thanks for all the support that you already have given us for a long time and just uh, keep learning, keep sharing and keep growing. Thanks and be safe in this corona time. Wear mask, have a safe distance, be in home and be safe. Thank you.